Hi, my name is Michelle Walters Johnson and I am the lady behind the wig. I am an alopecia coach and I empower, educate, and sometimes even entertain women dealing with alopecia. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of this beautiful wig that I received from Tress Allure. And full disclosure, I did unbox it already, but I want to walk you back through the experience of this beautiful wig that I received. So stay tuned. Okay. So I received this wonderful package from Tress Allure and I'm not going to show you the box closed because it has my personal details on there. But when I opened it up, I had a free gift, which was their wig wax. Wig wax. Wig wax. Alrighty. And this wig wax is a spray where you can shake it, style it, and finish it. I will be using this on the wig that I'm about to open up. It's specially formulated for all types of synthetic and human hair extensions, additions, and wigs. And so just to give you a little um, intro, so I normally, I have worn all different colors of wigs, um, bronzy colored, gold colored, uh, red. I haven't really got into like the jewel colors or like, like anything that's passed out, but I'm not afraid of color. But um, this wig, I actually wanted to pay tribute to my, to my ladies out there that are dealing with hair loss that are a little bit more seasoned and more mature. And so I chose a wig in a salt and pepper color so first of all it came in this fabulous so here we have the look fabulous by tress allures it came with a wig cap which was in my shade which i was impressed by it had this shaper thing it held the wig together while in transit it also comes with some care instructions and let's get into the details of the wig this wig is the mc 1404 curl intense color 44 56 60. some of the features and benefits are the fact that number one do you see all those curls um it's effortless fiber blended synthetic which is very very soft and it feels like human hair and as you see the curls I'm looking at the curls here um, they really reminded me of when my mother would roller set her hair and then you would take the curlers out and have a lot of curls it comes with a ventilated cap which is perfect for us ladies who like to keep cool the neck base is very very soft it almost feels like velvet I loved it really really love it um, and the thing I noticed too, it comes with what they call stretch cap adjusters. There are no hooks for these stretch cap adjusters. I'm used to them having hooks, but I much prefer this because the hooks are always coming unraveled in while I'm wearing it and my wig is always sliding. My only con I could see with that is what if the big wig is not big enough for your head. The air tabs right here, I'm showing that they're moldable. It means you can bend them, but they also have that same velvety material on it. And my favorite part is the fact that it's a lace wig. You can see right here, I'm showing you the lace. And the benefit of that is that it is virtually undetectable and it appears like it is growing out of your scalp. See how you can see through, yes. And also it has this monofilament strip of plastic, which is great to stop it from sliding around. So I thought that was a great feature as well. And also has that comfort base around the lace. So it's great. It's definitely a very pretty wig. So here I am with my wig. This wig, I'm not going to lie. It is really, really pretty. So like I said, you put the air pads on to kind of make it fit. Um, when I saw this in the picture on the, um, in the, um, 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 the website, it was really fluffed out and the curls were like big curls. And so my intention is to style it like that. And as you see, as I'm combing it, it gets bigger and bigger. Now, I personally love big hair, so I don't have a problem with that, but... <laughs> I'm from Jamaica and they would say, you love show off, show off. I'm a, I'm that person. Like I like big hair. I like big curls. So definitely I'm like, this is pretty. Now, um, some of the things that, um, I don't think these are cons. I think it actually makes it easier for you to wear, but what I like to do with my wigs is I like to have parts. I like to have it appearing as though it's growing out of my scalp. So I like to make it so you can see some flesh. So I'm what I would have done with this wig would, would be to um, pluck it and 
put a little bit of makeup in there so it's you know blends in but the way that this hair is parted it's kind of ventilated kind of like it crosses each other so i'm not saying that it's impossible because it is all lace it's not impossible it would definitely definitely uh, if i were to say that this was my wig i would probably um not probably i would <laughs> i would definitely put a real part in there and have it do that um but this is really pretty now it's kind of frizzy curly um but that lends to the style in my opinion also let's see okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open up the spray the wig wax not that i want to tame it um but i want to tame some of the flyaway here so and the other thing, so what I like about lace wigs is that it can appear to grow out of your scalp. And if you're someone that is in the wig wearing community, it all really depends what you like. So I know a lot of people who like to pluck, sometimes even over pluck the hairline of the, of the wig. And the purpose of that is to make it look more natural, look like it's really like how your hair would be. Um, I wouldn't do that with this wig. But I do think it would make it look more natural. Like I said, put a real part in there. And to do that, um, one way to kind of avoid, one way to wear it too would be to kind of tuck this behind your ear. And then you don't have to, yeah, I guess if you tucked behind your ear and if you plucked it, it would look better. But here's the thing. The lace stops up here. All of this down here is the ventilated cap so you couldn't really pluck you could do it but you could probably possibly mess up the wig um and have damage and you don't want that all right so we're gonna try there's a lot of spray in here because it's not really shaky <laughs> oh my gosh this smells wonderful that was a genuine reaction i've never smelled this before it reminds me of a perfume either my mom used to wear or i used to wear oh my gosh this is nice. Yeah, definitely keeping that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I really like this. The other thing I'm gonna do is mousse. And I'll put that to kind of tame some of the flyaways at the top. Um but yeah, I think this is beautiful. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, so pretty. Oh, wow yep so ladies again you've got to check out my people at tress allure wigs they have all sorts of styles all different colors um different lengths different price points so there's definitely a lot of different options definitely check them out let them know that lady behind the wig sent you thank you for joining me today and have an awesome awesome day bye bye one last thing that I did not show you was the back of the wig. Come on, hello. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure you get to see it from all sides. You know who this is reminding me of? Diane Carroll. Yes, Death Dynasty vibes. <laughs> Love this. <laughs>